right. Do my uh, my little bit of uh, bep, 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 bep. I haven't played Seeker in a minute, man. I've been playing all the uh, the normal survivors again. Oh, I haven't played this game in a day, and it feels weird. Feels weird. Hello, big chest. Hello, recycler. Maybe we can uh, show off more about how Soul John works in this run. Orbs, I see. Yeah, we got orbs. We're gonna try orbs out. I like I like them both. I like the fist more so in the later of the stages. Like early on, the orbs are pretty fun, and like if I get a good Sojourn build, then they synergize really well together, and blah 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 blah, and you know. You know, you know. Zika feels more like a polished new survivor, maybe. Zika, she just feels a bit weak, but I think she's fine. I, there just needs to be more clarity around her meditation and like what it does and when it's affected and like it's just there's a, that's a big part of it. Doll, huge, huge. Guess we're doing Zika now. Yeah, I guess we're doing Zika now. I guess we're doing balls now. Big red, good green. Not a bad green. Can't complain. Can't complain. All right, moving on. Give me this healing drone real quick, please. I want to partake in it. Thank you. Do you like Acrid? Absolutely. Acrid's one of the best survivors in the game. By far. Very consistent. Very strong. If you run poison. So essential for this build. Was essential for this build? Uh, damage reduction, my friend. Damage reduction is huge for your Sojourn. Uh, give me the TP. Mm. Hollow Knight? I actually would like to learn Hollow Knight. But like, I don't know. Hollow Knight is just a lot of running around. It's not, I don't know. It doesn't have the same vibe. Like, Celeste is this constant, constant, like, cool, like, parkour and, like, Platforming and not all, but platforming and we'll say big things. No like boring sex sections. Hollow Knight is an amazing game that I'm in love with. I love Hollow Knight. Like it's one of my favorite games ever. But no hitting would just feel like there's been a lot of boring running segments. And the bosses aren't very hard either, so it wouldn't be that interesting. I don't know. A rat printer would be huge, yeah. A rat printer. Rat printers on fusion printers as well. You either want damage you either want damage reduction or loss of health, or ideally both. Because the more health you have, the less you'll notice the damage going out. Because it's not based off health, which we all had that wrong. Uh, and the more the more wraps in the damage reduction you have, the less damage it does. Period. So if you have lots of health and damage reduction, then it's like it's very, very, very strong. PSGs, infusions, not bison steak, not stone blocks. Plenty of something decent, a seeker. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It has a use. But like in that use, you can still get the same thing with like one weeping fungus sort of thing. Like, it's good, but it's not the best. It sounds really good, but the damage falls off for some reason. Like, the, the healing falls off for some reason. I don't know why. It just sort of stops healing. And it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but it does do that. And I don't know why. Path of Pain? I love Path of Pain, man. Dude, that's what, like, brought me... Oh, the Weko. That's what, like, really got me in, like, into Celeste. Is, like, I love the Path of Pain. I think it's really, 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 really fun. And Celeste kind of just feels like the path of pain, but all the time, <laughs> which is cool. Oh, chat, look what turned up the other day. Check it, look what turned up. My little stubby coaster. A stubby cooler. How cute. <laughs> How cute. I love it, dude. I love it. G'day. It's so cute. Anyway, I like it a lot. Uh, all right, I saw two gas over there. Uh, beep, boop, 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 beep. I like how the orbs more, but uh, it hate more procs. Yeah, that just doesn't do enough damage, and it's not a ban proc, and like, I get it, I, early, I think, I see the benefit of the orbs, I really do, I really do, but early on, they're really good, later on, they're even worse, but like, the fist has good AoE as well, like, it's a good surface that it hits, right, comes up pretty quickly, wow, I can change for a slightly better healing equipment. It is good for a bit of crowd control, but like, again, the later the runs go, the less you're gonna need it, and you're, and you're giving up, essentially, your best way of fighting any aerial enemies. Like, you can use your M1 for aerial enemies, of course, but it's just slow, and the fist is really good, and they're band proccing on, like, Greater Wisps, and the, the Lunar Wisps, and all that sort of stuff. I see the appeal of the, all, the, all, the balls, I just don't like it. That's not my cup of tea. Can I please have a credit card game, please? Thank you. And that, like, backup mags is so good. Back of mags like an A tier item with uh with the fist dude. It's so good. So good. See right now, I can still ban proc with my M1, but like oh my god. But I'd much rather my M2 for it. But again, it doesn't matter. It, I think they're both in the long run they're both fine, honestly. Whatever. Wow. Uh give me a rap printer and we fucking golden. Ooh, ages would go hard. No, it wouldn't. That's 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 debate. You got debated. Ages literally never goes hard. Ever. I mean, yeah, I agree, PK, actually. That's the best thing. That is actually the best thing. Uh, Aegis is going for it. It does look cool. You can go off a gas, baby. And that one band. Ah. Delph kit. 
Oh, hey, lucky me, dude. Oh, wackadoo. Got a good drone man running a long time. Game, you listening? Any drone man runs out there? Who needs pot rolling? You got a fire band? Do a pot roll? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? You know what's better than one fire band? Two fire bands and a runals is better than one fire band. Oh, I can't roll pots. I can't roll pots. I wonder if I can, like, jump over. Can I, like, hold on. Let me do some tech here real quick. Can I? If I land on it. Okay. Okay, that, that hit the other pot. That's not my fault. Nope. Oh, those seven pots. Got about the damn thing. Get rid of the balls. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. Me too. Oh, wait. It doesn't proc bands unless I have more. Wait, hold on. Is it proc now? No. <laughs> bep, 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 bep. Is it proc now? No. <laughs> yeah, now I just don't have a band proc unless I have max uh, tranquility, I guess. Need like five of them under proc. Oh, this should be my fifth one now. Hey, look at that. Uh, give me a good equipment, man. My God. Please. What man got to do? Radar's peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love an equipment that I can uh, just, you know, use my eyes to completely mitigate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prayer bead printer. Hold on. Isn't this the Giga Strat? Isn't this like the meta? Just full send? This is the instant win button, right? Because it's going to increase my health, damage, and my armor, right? I mean, I'm willing to give everything up for the funny, right? For the funny. For like, yeah. Okay. Fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. The thing is with this that's going to make this really good is... Now I have nothing but prayer beads in my inventory, right? I have nine prayer beads. So I have these 14 levels here, whatever it is, the 14 stats worth. And then I print one prayer bead and I get that whole benefit still, despite still having... It feels similar to infusion test. Now let me just kill something and get a level back, because I'll get levels back quickly. Okay, so we print another one. My health goes up again. All right, good. Good. <laughs> good. Okay. Went up again to pin another one. Good. <laughs> Good. 800 health now. Where are you shooting from? Where are you shooting from? Oh, you're under the ground, aren't you? Oh, I guarantee you're under the ground. Oh, I, I know you're under the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're under the ground, aren't you? You always... Yeah, you fucking... Okay, we just win the game now then, right? <laughs> this is this is it. We just win the game. I get levels from every kill, and then I just hit this again and get more health. <laughs> yeah, this seems balanced. This is a re this yeah, this should definitely be a printer that exists. So you just get a bear pre-printer and you win. Alright, good to know. Good to know. Alright, bet. Yep, I'll take some more. <laughs> this is the most broken printer in the game. Huh. You die absorb sort of cause trans transcendence. Look, I'm going to tell you a hard truth right now, Scallop. You didn't die because of Transcendence. You died because of skill issue. Transcendence didn't kill you. Transcendence is one of the strongest uh, items in the game. This is a hard truth. If you want to sit there and blame Transcendence for dying, I, someone needs to tell you that it's not, that's not the case. Transcendence is broken. You died because you either stood still or weren't paying attention. I mean that with love. That with kindness? Honestly, yeah, I do. Like, if you are losing a run and you blame... Something like Transcendence for losing, that is... Like, it's whatever. Like, you can blame what you want, but it's a bad mindset that's going to make you lose more runs in the future. You need to address why you died, and the answer is not because of Transcendence. It's one of the strongest items in the game. Oh, yeah, if you get a Prayer Beast printer, it's GG. Like, you win. It's not even in my task manager. The game isn't even in here. It's crashed so bad, it's not even in my task manager. Uh, I get to do this all over again. <laughs>
good. All right, let's go challenge this rest of this run. What's going on here? Hey, Flame. Found a prayer bead printer. <laughs> it's been a, it's been a whole thing. It's been a lot. My, that I didn't even realize. Do the ban prog? I don't have any bans. What do you mean? What? What are you talking about? I just printed a thousand. I just printed a thousand prayer beads. I don't have any bans left. <laughs> nice just run thing. I can essentially stay in the Sojourn forever now though, which is nice. Isn't Sojourn based on percent HP? Nope. It's based on your stat. Your damage, your base damage stat. Which, you know, would make more sense, right? Like that makes sense. But like, wouldn't prayer beads increase that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't. Like, it hurts. It's doing uh, 33 tick. 33 per tick. 31 per tick. Yeah, Sojourn is based off your level. So the longer you're in it, the, it the, that tick damage is based off your maximum, like, of, off your base damage. And the only thing that seems to increase that is your level. So I guess, technically, it's just tied to your level. Like, my player level is how much damage it does. So health doesn't affect it at all. The more health I have doesn't affect that at all. But you'd think it would, given how it, you know, how it's described uh, <laughs> i don't know it's just dumb and you're like oh well, things like this that increase your health and like your damage right should make it do more it doesn't it doesn't it's it's just it's tied purely to this number here which makes no sense it's just, it's it's again it's just nothing in this dlc makes sense nothing it's all worded so poorly and to speak on this one the way that this works is when you scrap one of these the calculations of how much extra how much um damage health and regen you get is based off how many prayer beads are remaining in your build so if i scrap 12 of these and have 11 left then that'll give me 20 percent for that first stack and then it'll be 50 percent for the extra 10 left so one so 11 stacks there 20 and then five percent for the extra 10 after that right so it's only going to give me a 55 percent stat boost because it's going to be based off the 11 not the actual 12 so it's it's very weird, dude. which also means that if you scrap them in a scrapper, like 10 at once, if you have nine, for example, and you scrap them all in a scrapper, the way it'll work is that it'll, it'll actually somehow manage to turn it into less than that. It'll turn it into 15% gain because it calculates it on zero prayer beads, which somehow also makes no sense, because that. but somehow zero equals 20 minus 5%. So like, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. It's just dumb. <laughs> it's just dumb. It's just. But if you get a prayer beast printer, you literally just win. Like it's. This is the strongest printer in the game. It's not the most fun printer, but it's the strongest printer in the game. Gearbox moment. And don't even get me started on Sojourn. Like that's a whole nother fucking kettle of fish. Let's we'll talk about prayer beast in the one video. It's bit up by ten. Yeah. This would be a good video to make because it's like educational and it's like very strong and stuff. But like, Kami's gonna have to cut out a lot. <laughs> Kami will have to cut out a lot. Skirt. Ah, uh, nice 3,500 damage. Normal amount of damage. Dude, can I get a blood shrine actually? Give me a blood shrine. That's gonna give me so much money. Blood shrine! Let's go! Check this out. Ready? Hold on, let me give him more health with this. Blood shrine. So I have, what, 2,600. I have 5,000 gold. <laughs> Thanks. Love you. Nice. Easy run. Just eat damage at this point? Oh, absolutely. Like, absolutely. I have so much health, it doesn't matter. Like, it, none of it matters. And as obviously, as we all know, like, curse is based off a of percent damage done to your max health. So I need to take 2.5% or more of my HP, which is, what, 8,000 now? So, what the fuck is that? What's 10% of that? 800. So you need to take, like, 80-something damage per hit. 8 or more. Ooh. Drone Man. Hey, why do I always get Drone Man when I don't want Drone Man, chat? Why does it always happen? I've got a good Drone Man run in a long time. Game, you listening? Any Drone Man runs out there? Why does it happen? Whatever, I'll take it, dude. Say you want a Drone Man run? I did say I want a Drone Man run, but, like, that was before. That was before. And now it is now. Want to see A, we get melted through shield. Ah, right. Oh, hello. I didn't even see this guy here. My damage isn't even that good, honestly. It's not bad. Ow. Eh. Ow. <laughs> the fact that I can tank that is dumb. Yeah, whatever. Set me up, Scotty. <laughs> no, I missed. Blap, blap, blap. Nice. Close one. Tough fight. This is dumb. This is dumb. Normal things. Ages. Yes. 
That's huge uh, chat room. I love Aegis. Must be really good, right? Right? It's got to be good. Dan has done what nobody else could and acquired infinite one-shot protection. Essentially, yeah. Pretty much, honestly. Like, I don't feel like anything can kill me right now. Like, I've been taking shots and just walking through and hitting blood shrines and shit. And, like, I still have 6,000 health with 74 curse, which is insane. Like, actually just insane. PSG lovers. PSGs would slap with this, too, because it would just multiply my health. Like, I would love a PSG here, man. Love some PSGs. Bill needs and ages. Yeah, the mean one that I have right now. Yeah, it's really carrying me, for sure. Flap. Oh, momentum lock. Coming in, buddy. Skirt. New Garners would actually deal more than two damage here. It would, actually. New Garner would be good. For those who don't know, New Garner is based off of your max HP. The New Garner here would actually be doing good. Yeah, that's true. That is not good. So let me just let me just really clarify. Not dog shit isn't good. But it wouldn't be doing not dog shit. I mean, it wouldn't be doing dog shit. It would be doing not dog shit. You know what I mean? I don't know where. It's sitting okay in the dog shit, like, scale right now. The proc on the new Kana? Yeah, well, we don't need to talk about that. Um, I mean, it may as well. I don't need my prayer beads anymore. Did you really take my ukulele? You're a dog. You know what? Give me more. <laughs> like, nah, it's fine. I got my health of that, too. I got tons more health of that. Oh, <laughs> No prayer bead printer could be this much power. That's me in this game. Here's our large father. It's new to all of us. Oh, knockback fin printer. Ooh, watch printer. I'm coming in hot. Good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got a watch printer. I'm from Sonorous. Oh, yeah. I forgot I got Sonorous Whispers. Sorry. I forgot I had Sonorous Whispers. My bad. What do we get? What are our goodies? God, I am strong. Elixir. This was how I started chance to only growth nectar had a uh, fun fun. Yeah, growth nectar is cool. Growth nectar is hard to get off the ground. Is the only, only issue with growth nectar. It's just hard to get going. But it's good though, for sure. It's like I put it in the same realm as death mark. Where like death mark can be really, 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 really good, obviously. Uh, oh, raise fly. Um, but like it's the setup to get it working, which is the pain, right? All that running made everything count as a play debuff. Space is god tier. Uh, I mean, if you just cheat, yeah. I mean, <laughs> like. If I was like, you know, I had a mod on that uh, made, you know, ATGs have 100% proc chance. And I was like, <laughs> that, that feels like a, in the nicest way possible, that feels like a nothing sentence. <laughs> like, what? What? Like, I had this mod on that made enemies die instantly. I'm like, all right. Like, yeah, yeah, of course. Waking like, Vulture's kind of the only way to make Martha greatness work. Well, that's not true. It definitely helps for sure, but it's not true. What works with uh, Growth Nectar? It's like, I know War Banner does. I think Prayer Beads do. I know Opal does. Red Whip would, I guess. I don't know, man. It just seems so inconsistent. Biggest saving grace and tranquility. Do they? I regret making my Seeker thing so early. But, like, I... It's a not... My guides... I wish my guides came out a little bit later. Because I stand by them, obviously. Like, I think they're good, good, good guides. Like, I, I'm, I didn't want to put out subpar content. But, like, the way that everything is so convoluted in this DLC was a way that I did not see coming. And I really, like, clearly needed some more time to cook on some, like, to let people figure out how the fuck some of this jank works. Because, like, nothing works. Goodbye. Nothing works the way that it says it works. Like, oh, man. I don't know, dude. It's just dumb, dude. Oh, how did I fall out with that without taking 10 minutes per stage? Am I stupid? Nothing wrong with 10 minutes per stage. I'm doing, like, a bit over that, dude. Don't worry about how much time you're taking per stage, is the answer. There's no time you need to look at. Hang on, Paulie, by the way. There's no time to look at when it comes... When it comes to, um, Risk of Rain 2. Good! only thing, the only thing, and I mean this genuinely, the only thing you ever need to think about when it comes to looting, in like, like time-wise per stage in this game, is looting, full looting efficiently. Time doesn't matter. The quicker you do it is obviously good, right? You just, but like, that comes into fooling efficiently. You want to full loot the stage as quickly as you physically can. As quickly as you physically can. But like, if you need, need, need a time to look at, and I don't recommend you do, but like, I aim for like 10 minutes, roughly. If I, do, if I do less, cool. If I do more, I don't care. Yeah, time doesn't matter in the sense that you shouldn't be looking at it. But obviously, the game still does get harder the longer you take. But the whole thing about time not mattering is based on the fact that items and, like, you know, good item, item macroing will make you much, much stronger than time will ever make enemies stronger. And that's where it comes into it. That's the big thing. Boop, 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 boop. 
Bang, 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 bang. And bang, bang, bang. Bang. Good. I have a very small... Dude, this... I have one line of items. That's wild, dude. Why is someone in my YouTube comments telling me that they died in Sojourn? Like, just like fighting a random Doom Strider? Like, how? Literally, the only thing that can kill you in Sojourn is uh, Voidling's big suck. And that's it. I don't know how they died. They're like, you know, I died. You're wrong. You can die in Sojourn. Like, I'm sorry, man. But <laughs> if you were fighting a Doom Strider and died, you weren't in Sojourn. You both killed him? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Probably, yeah, honestly. Bang, bang, bonk. Two kind of sucks. Hey, Mythic's flat. Gamma time. How much damage do you do with all these watches? Hmm. Let me get this up. <laughs> hey, there it is! <laughs> Holy moly! Holy moly! Holy goddamn skirt! Mm, it's gonna come through here. Don't mind me. One shot, one shot, one kill, baby. I'm gonna go through here. Very good, don't mind me. Yep, and Mithrix should be dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a mod for that better meteor, by the way. It looks cool. All right. Okay. <laughs> Is this a Voidling run? We can do Voidling right now if you want. Do you guys want to do Voidling? We'll take two seconds. We can. See if we can one-shot that guy too, I guess. <laughs> Fucking stupid, dude. Prayer beads? I don't know. With Sojourn? Yeah, with Sojourn. Cool. Oh, there, I, there I go. Z can't kill me. You were saying? <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> oh, my lanta, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, let's charge it up a bit. I don't want to go in too early. And get to like around about now ish. Blap! <laughs> Oh, and a crowbar. All right. <laughs> I needed more damage. Yeah, that's what I needed. More damage. All right, well, that's nice. <laughs> God damn it. I'm coming in, Chief. Make way for Dan. All right. Gotta make sure my, my ball doesn't hit. And bang. What? No, I didn't. Ah, I didn't charge it up enough. Feels bad, dude. Feels bad. I went in too soon, dude. Boy, it? Yeah, I don't know. Flap. Ah. Prayer bead printers. Prayer bead printers. Make it make sense, chat. Make it make sense. GG, I guess. I guess, GG. How much grease up stage three? Oh, that's full scent. I got rid of feathers. I got rid of bands. I just full scent. Into the in the prayer bee printer. That's all I did. This full scent into it. If you get a prayer bee printer, you win. Even gang, let's go. <laughs> Eight million damage without looping. <laughs>